wait mm, Wait for better days to come And carry us like wind in our sails Hold on tight I can smell the shore It's right in front of us if we just guys and welcome back to the Sullivan family how are you all doing can I just say that the live was a brilliant last night we absolutely loved filming the live uh, and interacting with you guys it was amazing uh, a, li a little certain somebody has something she wants to say I lost my tooth yesterday <laughs> you did didn't you you told her you showed everybody on the live last night didn't you that you lost yes. the tooth and what happened uh, the tooth fairy came the tooth fairy came and dropped her a pound look can you see that so that's amazing isn't it that's a lot of money for a tooth isn't it but it was a front tooth it was a big tooth wasn't do, it and, do, and is it true tooth. that the tooth fairy needs teeth so they don't can make a castle i guess so yeah i think so what like a castle made out of teeth yeah wow that'd be an awesome castle wouldn't it really weird uh anyway guys it's saturday uh we've just been down and, and had a skimming lessons had skimming lessons again because the girls keep um, asking me to go down and do some more skimming lessons i, I didn't skim well it's good fun though wouldn't it i don't know yeah. why I skim, but i but think i know I skim. we we had to go down to the rock pool today because the tide was like completely out so we couldn't get to the the sea could be because it's all rocky so so we so we did skimming practice in uh in the big rock pool yeah yeah. Which was really good, wasn't it? It was good fun. Uh, yeah, it's Bye. very it's very windy here. It's sunny, but it's very windy. Hence why I'm hiding in the shed again. I am just out of the wind for a minute because the wind noise is uh, is it, the wind noise you get is pretty bad. Um, yeah, Saturday. Right, it is Granny and Granddad's last day. Their last official day. They are going to be travelling back to Cornwall tomorrow. So everybody's a little bit. Mm, they've had a lovely time. I know. The, I yeah, so so are we. We'll miss them too, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. I want to have um, two more days days off because I don't really want to go to school. I know. It's that it's that kind of feeling, isn't it? When uh, so we're going back to, to go school back. on a Monday. I'm so excited to go back to school. Oh, uh, you are, because you love school, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, Erin, Erin, you and Leah love school. Yeah, I know. Hey, you like school, so, 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 so there's no problem there. 
I can show my teacher my teeth. Tooth. Yeah, show your teacher your tooth. Yeah? Have you yeah. showed the camera my hair? Yeah, do you want to swizzle around? So do you remember in the live last night they had those things in? It's been a bit windswept this morning, but this, but if you go onto our Facebook later, I'm pretty sure Zoe will put some photos on of how their hair looked this morning where using those things. Curlers. Curlers. Yeah, it was Olivia. Yeah, it was Olivia. But your hair's very wavy, so isn't it? It's very curly. Said, how do you use those curlers in your life? Well, maybe we can do a vlog about it. Maybe we can do a vlog about that, yeah? Yeah. Maybe. In yeah. the live, people were saying kind things. They were saying kind things, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, we love doing the lives. They're great fun. Some people said we're really funny. Yes, you are really funny. You're also so, bonkers. Someone said we're kind and and friendly. Well, it's good to be kind, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's good to be kind. It's good to be friendly. And it's good to be nice. Right. Anyway, it's Saturday, guys. Uh, so I've been kind this morning, tidying up the lounge. She's been kind this morning tidying up the lounge it's it's saturday we are going to go to so obviously we've been doing the skimming this morning and all that kind of stuff i think zoe might be having a blather with you as well this morning uh we are planning to go to abalau this afternoon with granny and granddad it's, it's the it's their last obviously the last day abalau is the place that we went to ages ago it's got like um it's got like a big play park but it's also right next to the spay the river spay so we can go along the spay bay for a walk I yeah. think I know that place. Do you know what I mean? We've been there, we've definitely I been there before. I don't know what you mean right now. Yeah, I think I know. The, the one with the really long silver slide. Yes, that's it. The Cummingston And there's like, a, there's like a bridge there as well on the river. Is yeah. the Cummingston one? No, it's not the Cummingston one, that's it's Abalawa. Yeah, it's not the Cummingston one, it's Abalawa, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. So we're going to go to Abalawa this afternoon. Uh, we're hopefully, we're praying that the rain staves off it's supposed to be really bad here but Avalau is about half an hour more inland so so we're hoping that the, the weather's a little bit different really hoping the weather's a little bit different because the weather here is going to be atrocious stuff for me yeah there is yeah i don't know who put that out there uh, so that so we're really looking forward to that as well um and then whatever else happens in the day happens to be honest um yeah granny and granddad's last day so uh let's enjoy it shall we yeah Where it was needed Claimed in black as night Cloistered in injustice Dead In the eye of time Nobody is losing Faces merge and change But your face remains the same
they look a little bit like it, don't they? They look, they look a little bit like it. You might be right. Hello. Hey, can you follow me? Follow you? I'm following you. Can you follow me? I am. Look at that view. Wow, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Not that view, this view. Look at that view. It's beautiful. Okay guys, we are down at Abalawa and I forgot how lovely being next to the River Spey is. It's absolutely stunning down here today. Very windy, very windy. It's been one of those days today. I've had to use a lot of music over the videos um, just because of the amount of wind, but it's just died down for a minute. So I thought I'd have a blather with you. But obviously this is the last last walk we're going to go on with granny and granda till they go home tomorrow um so we're making the most of it and we just thought we would come down here because we haven't been down here for so long and um i don't know why because it's absolutely stunning apart from it's just started raining just a little bit it's fine Can I get my jacket on? yeah we'll get hang on i'll, I'll put joseph's jacket on Daddy, they come and pick my he's happy now he's got his coat on have you got your coat on joseph i've got a fish oh show us your stick then uh, that's a great stick i got a fishy you're gonna catch a fish with your fishing rod, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely stunning down here. Especially when the sun comes out, like it's now doing that. I got a fish. Okay, but look, so that's the, that, this is the, the River Spay and that goes that way. Yeah, that way, all the way to um, the coast, the Murray Coast. Part of the Spayway uh, and the Whiskey Trail. 
but it's been lovely to come down here again. Right guys, we got beaten by the weather, we got beaten by the rain. Uh, we're back in the car at the moment. Uh, Zoe is going to the shop with Granny and Grandad because Granny wants to buy the kiddies some sweeties, which is cool, isn't it? Yeah. So Granny and Grandad are buying them some sweeties. Uh, Zoe's going to get everybody a drink. Um, but that was a nice walk, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you have a nice time, Joseph? I don't know why Joseph's sad. I don't know why. He just said, he just got in the car and said, I'm sad. Did you uh, like the walk? Are you going to miss Granny and Grandad? You're going to miss running Grandad, is that what it is? At least they're going to be here tomorrow. Uh, well, hopefully they'll come back again, won't they? And it won't, won't take too long, will it? Hey, Jojo? No. Bless him. It is difficult. It's one of those things when um, people come up and visit and then they go again, isn't it? It's quite a difficult thing for little ones. Anyway, it's been a lovely, lovely walk uh, here in Abalawa. My glasses are steaming up again. Um, it was really nice to go down, get down the hopefully, river again. Hopefully, Granny and Granddad will be um, um, tomorrow be there for the whole day. No, they're leaving in the morning, darling. What? I think they're leaving in the morning. I think they're leaving in the morning. Um, I'll double check in a minute anyway, but I think they are. Because they've got to get on the road um, and get to the hotel. Anyway, it's been nice though. You've got to remember that it's been nice for them to come up and it's been a nice trip, all right? That's what you've got to remember, yeah? Okay? Yeah. Right, guys. Um, I'm just going to wait for Zoe and everybody, and then we're going to hit the road and get back home. So um, we will see you in a bit. Yeah? Yeah. So, it's tea time. Well, they've just eaten tea. Um, look at my shadow. How weird is that? I'm in Noah's room because he's out. And it's the only quiet place in the house. There's people in every other room. Um, I say quiet, it's not like quiet because there's still people around. Um, little ones are just going in the bath. Downstairs is just being tidied. There's people dotted about as per normal all over the house. So I think we were quite lucky today with the weather because the forecast for this afternoon was like big black rainy clouds after yesterday's lovely sunshine it was big black rainy clouds this afternoon but I think we managed to dodge the weather this is the thing the weather report is never quite right up here so you can never quite go by the weather you kind of have to go by what it looks like in the sky or um just go for it that's all you can kind of do but because it changes literally changes by the hour um, there was a little bit of rain, but it wasn't anywhere near as bad. It's just really windy. Um, but when isn't it? It's always really windy. So I wanted to just go somewhere a little bit further out um, for Granny and Granddad's last day. Just somewhere sort of. We've been for lots of walks around here and um, obviously they've been off exploring a little bit. And just wanted to go somewhere a little bit different. Um, maybe they haven't been and... We haven't been for a while today, which is why we went over to Arbalawa. And it's so pretty. I wanted to, because obviously they've driven through Arbalawa many times, like we have, um, but never stopped. So I just wanted to show them how pretty it was. Because it's really pretty there. It's even prettier in the sunshine when it's not raining. They've got a nice little park and a nice walk along the Spey. And you can go much, much further than we did today. We only really went just for a very small walk. Um, but you can go a lot further and maybe in the summer we will do maybe in the summer we'll um we'll go take a picnic i think we should do more picnics this summer um because sometimes when you have to you have lunch at home and then go out it only gives you a short amount of time but then equally some of the little ones can only last a short amount of time um before they want to come home joseph's getting much better um and it's always good getting him out and about because he will join in more now um when we're out and about although it did start really lashing it down with rain at one point today and it was only a short shower but um he was a bit freaked out but he was okay we managed to bring it back so that's good 
because that could have ended in disaster, but it didn't. We managed to bring it back. Um, I've just noticed that those guys do go upside down. Okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, baby's upset. Ben's giving her a bath. Um, she's very tired, bless her. She tried to fall asleep in the car on the way back. And you know what it's like with little ones if they have a danger nap. Anywhere past three o'clock in the afternoon, you've had it for the rest of the night. Even if they just close their eyes for a millisecond, you've had it because they won't sleep. And she definitely won't sleep till like 10 o'clock. So we're trying to keep her awake in the car. We did keep her awake in the car. Um, there's some sad people today. Agnes is very, very emotional today. Very emotional. Um, and at first I thought it was because a bit that she was a bit tired because they went to bed a little bit later last night. They're normally in bed by about half past seven and they didn't go to bed till like half past eight last night. Um, which I know to some people might be early, but they get up very early in the morning. We always all get up very early in the morning, which is why they go to bed that bit earlier. Um, although I don't think half past seven is, is early really for sort of, um, six and eight year olds. I don't think that's particularly early, but anyway, in the holidays, obviously things slip and they do go to bed later, but then they still get up at the same time. So she was quite emotional from the set off this morning and she I realised about lunchtime what it was it's because granny and granddad are going home tomorrow um and Agnes is a deep thinker so she when they arrive um and the twins Erin especially does it as well when they arrive they just kind of like how long you stay in how many days how many nights and I know that Agnes kind of ticks it away and I try not to mention too much you know granny and granddad are going home tomorrow or anything like that but equally I don't you know they they have to know sort of you know they they're going back tomorrow because I don't want it to suddenly you can't spring it on them and they're not stupid you know they know so they know how many days they're staying and how long it's for um but obviously with that Agnes knows and she'll be thinking in her mind so she's been quite sad today because Granny and Granddad are going back tomorrow and Leah and Erin have been a little bit a little bit sad in the car on the way back because it's just dawned on them that they're going back tomorrow as well. It's very difficult. It's difficult for everybody, I think. Um, you know, when you live away from family, and we've lived away from family for a really long time now, um, and obviously the older ones were like this um, when they were small, although it's different for them now because they're all bigger. <clears throat> to be honest, they probably wouldn't notice that I was missing um, until the food started running down and they didn't have any more money to spend. Then they might think, oh, where's mum gone? Oh, yeah. I don't mean that, really. They they would they definitely would notice because the washing wouldn't be done. Um, but, I mean, they, they do deep down. You know, they, they enjoy having them here and um, they do miss them when they're gone, but miss them in a teenager kind of way. Um, but the little ones, definitely. And it is, it's difficult because, you know, you look forward to them coming and they look forward to coming. And then it just always goes so damn fast. Everything always goes so fast. I mean, our life is like 100 miles an hour all the time. And sometimes it's just too fast for us. And I know part of that is obviously having a large family and having a lot to do. And But sometimes you feel like it's just literally you're on this freight train and you can't make it stop. And it's just everything is just going so fast and you've got to keep up with it. Um I mean, I guess everybody's life is like that, but maybe ours is just a bit more heightened because obviously we've got a, a lot going on all the time. You know, we've got to take people here, there and everywhere. Um, there's school, there's after school clubs, there's work, there's, um, you know, teenagers need to go sort of all over the place and just everything. Um, trying to keep up with it all. It, and obviously everything that we do is tenfold you know washing you've got 14 people's washing so it's going to always be more and if you we have to be routined to a certain you know we have to be routined we have to be routined because number one me and ben are quite routine people and number two i don't think it would work at all if we weren't because 
things just wouldn't get done. You know, the washing wouldn't get done, the cleaning wouldn't get done. And I mean, I struggled to keep up with it anyway, to be honest. But so we have to kind of always have that routine. And, you know, when you're a little bit out of it, things get left out. And that's when things start building up. Like I've not done as much washing this week because we've been out and um, I've missed a couple of loads here and there. I mean, I've done like three loads a day rather than four. But missing that one out, it builds up more, all those sorts of things. So it's a really fine line between, you know, having to get stuff done and still enjoying the time that everybody's got. So it's always hard when, because you try and cram so much into the time that the kids are off and that granny and granddad are here. Um, obviously the weather's not been great either, which hasn't helped, but it's just, it's always, it's always difficult. It's always difficult when they have to go back home again. And I think Florence is really going to feel it this time as well, because she's been much better she she came round to granny and granddad about day two this time rather than like the end of the holiday so she's she's going to be missing them as well and then obviously all the brothers and sisters are going back to school on monday which is like doubly worse um she's going to be completely lost next next week and toby is a little bit <sighs> toby is upset today um and it's because he's got to go back to school so we're back to that again we're back to that whole the whole thing with Toby in school but that's a story for another day obviously if you followed us for a long time you'll know that the issues we have with Toby in school I have said to him that I will homeschool him but then he's not sure because he doesn't want to miss his friends but then equally he doesn't want to go to school what do I do you know I don't know what to do I don't know what the best thing is to do the thing is that Toby is really smart he's really bright he's really not knowledgeable and he knows like way more about things than I do you know, if, he, if it's a subject that he's interested in, he will find everything out about that subject in any way he can. He'll use the internet, he'll use books, whatever. He will find out everything. He'll watch TV programmes. He'll find out everything about that subject. But if there's something that he's not interested in, then he won't be able to concentrate. He just can't, you know. Um... And I get that. I totally get that. And, you know, <clears throat> the thing about education is learning is great but the education system is not always geared up for everybody it's a very academic system um which i don't always agree with i know that people say you've got to learn this you've got to learn that you've got to learn the other but equally where's the bit for learning all the creative stuff where's the bit for learning stuff on your own it's very categorized isn't it I mean, I'm not going to talk about this now. This is a whole nother vlog, probably. Um, in fact, it is a whole nother vlog. So I will talk about it in another vlog because otherwise I'm going to be here forever. Um, but anyway, everybody's feeling a bit blue. Everyone's feeling a bit sad because Granny and Granddad are going back. Um, it is a bit sad. I think the last, since we've moved house, I've been feeling very homesick from Cornwall as well. And I think that's because I miss Lossie. Um, I've kind of struggled to settle here uh, in a new place, in a new house. Um, and, you know, we're, we're lucky because we're safe, we're warm, all of that sort of stuff. But it's still difficult when you move, when you've lived somewhere for a really long time. And it always makes you miss the other things as well. And obviously, I you know, I do miss. I miss the family. I miss friends in Cornwall. So... Um, and it's been a really long time since we've lived there, but I think it just brings up memories. When you move from, you've always been really happy in Lossie, and then you move house, and you're all upheavaled again. That's not even a word, but you know what I mean. And it just makes you miss all the things, doesn't it? And then, obviously, family come and stay, and then go and just, you know. But we speak every day, so it's it's... You know, they, they keep up with everything we're doing anyway, but it's it's never quite the same as having them here in person, is it? But anyway, I'm going to go and do some more washing because today I also forgot that the girls have got a wash bin in their bedroom and Olivia was like, I've got no socks left. I'm like, damn it. I forgot. She's got socks now. It's fine. We're done. <sighs> anyway. I'm going, I'm going to do a vlog on education and how we kind of feel about it, I think, and how it suits each different individual child. Um, 
let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea because obviously we've got a lot of children and they're all of different abilities not abilities i don't mean that, that different um likes dislikes all that sort of thing and some are really academic some aren't and you know maybe I should, i'm going to do a vlog on how i think that's important and not important and all that sort of thing and why we've thought about homeschooling so many times and why we haven't so yeah i'm going now i'm going to go and do my washing it's quite nice in here though it's like a little safe haven but i'm going Right guys, it is just gone 6 p.m. 6 o'clock in the evening. We're actually finishing the vlog on time tonight instead of forgetting, doing a live and then doing, <laughs> finishing the video the next day. Um, it's been a lovely day today. Uh, very, very windy, extremely windy today, but very, nonetheless, it's been a really nice day today. Uh, obviously, Zoe's just been chatting about it and I've had a chat about it today that it's been grinding on his last day today. So we'll see them tomorrow morning probably, will we? Yeah, briefly. See, see them briefly tomorrow morning. Uh, and then it's Sunday and the weather is actually looking pretty good for tomorrow. I would do, wouldn't it? On the day that I've got to stay in and do housework, it it's would It's looking do. pretty good. Yeah, that's great. So it might be my job to take some people out in the morning because the morning looks fantastic, um, if you don't mind. I've got to change the beds. I would swap. I'll be done. I'll be done. But driving me crazy. I, I, how the house is, you can see that the kids have been off for two weeks because it's just upside down and everything. It's pointless <laughs> trying to do it while they're all at home. But it's easier for me to take the kids out of the way and go for a nice walk somewhere. So that'll be, that's be what I'll do tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's it. So it's really nice to get down to Abalara again. Haven't done that for quite some time. Abalara's a lovely place, isn't it? Abalara. Down by the river. It's really, really nice. Um, and that's it. So... I really hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Please subscribe to our channel, guys. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below for all of our social media, our Facebook, our Instagram, uh, Leopard Fox Designs on the charity homepage. And that just leaves us all to say thank you so much, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.